and it's my pleasure to introduce you to one of my favorite regions in the world, the Central Asia. Here is a place where history, architecture and landscape combine in the most dramatic way, where the fabulous cities of the ancient Silk Road will transport you to another age, and where you'll witness the vast majestic landscapes through which camel caravans transported silks and other goods from China to the Mediterranean. Due to its location on the bridgehead between Asia and Europe, Central Asia has always been a turbulent region with a long and very eventful history, invaded and occupied by Genghis Khan, by Tamburlaine, and by so many others, including most recently by the Soviet Russians. The region is now a real melting pot of peoples, religions, and cultures. So when you travel here, you'll see firsthand the way all these influences combine in the food, the music, the art and the architecture, even the people themselves and the languages. It really is a remarkable region. Our most popular tour in this region is called Road to Samarkand. It's a really special itinerary, combining, as it does, the most beautiful landscapes of the region in Kyrgyzstan, with Central Asia's most extraordinary architecture in the fabled Silk Road cities of Uzbekistan. It's a 22-day tour, starting in Bishkek and ending in Tashkent, and along the way we take in the full sweep of Central Asia's Silk Road history. And as always with Wendy Wu Tours, it's a fully inclusive itinerary with all the meals, all the sightseeing activities, guiding, accommodation and transport included into the price. Physical, uh, the physical rating for this tour is three. This is not so much because of the walking content, but more because of the high altitudes we go to and also some of the long journeys and less than perfect road conditions in this part of the world. The tour begins in the capital of Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek. Here we discover the city and then drive into the nearby Ala Acha National Park in the Tian Shan Mountains to take in the dramatic landscapes of snow-capped peaks, waterfalls and rivers. Here, uh, sorry, next we head eastwards to Lake Isikul, where we enjoy a cruise on the lake, which is set in the most majestic location with soaring mountains to the north and to the south, reflected often in the water. At nearby Karakol, we visit the unforgettable Sunday market. This is one of Central Asia's most traditional and most authentic markets where you'll witness the local nomadic people coming in from the surrounding countryside to trade their sheep, and their horses and other animals and other goods too. We also go to a nearby village to watch a fascinating demonstration of eagle hunting. This is central, one of Central Asia's oldest traditions and for centuries eagles have been used by the local people to hunt across the landscapes of the region. One of my personal highlights of this tour is the historic and extremely remote Tash Rabat Caravanserai, set above 3,000 metres in a peaceful valley dotted with nomad yurt camps and surrounded, as you see, by snow-capped mountains. In this beautiful setting, which has barely changed in a thousand years, it's so easy to imagine the ancient Silk Road camel caravans travelling through and staying at this caravanserai. Later, a short flight brings us to Tashkent, capital of Uzbekistan, where we see the old town of Tashkent and the more recent Soviet monuments too. Plus, we visit an amazing ceramics workshop to learn about the tiles that decorate so many of Uzbekistan's most famous buildings. From Tashkent, we head west to Samarkand, which is probably the Silk Road's most famous city. Here we stay four nights and have three full days with plenty of time See all the key highlights of Samarkand and many of its lesser known highlights too. Samarkand is probably most famous, famous for this place, the Registan Square, with its perfect architecture and the exquisitely decorated facades of the three madrasas lining the square, which date back to the 15th and 16th centuries. We also visit this place, Gur e Amir, which means in Persian, Tomb of the King. This is the magnificent resting place of Tamburlaine, founder of the Timurid Empire. This building is regarded as one of the greatest examples of Islamic art and architecture anywhere in the world. 
and it was the prototype from, from which many other great buildings across the Islamic world were built, including the Taj Mahal in Agra. So our journey continues from Samarkand to Bukhara, with its equally impressive collection of buildings and monuments from the Timurid Empire. Like Samarkand, Bukhara prospered from the trade along the Silk Road and now has more than 140 classified architectural monuments. UNESCO has listed the whole entire centre of Bukhara as, a, as one of its listed sites. Here we have plenty of time again, not just to see the sites themselves, but to soak up the atmosphere of the place, which is remarkable, and to meet some of the local people, including a visit to a local workshop where traditional crafts such as block printing, metal chasing, embroidery and carving are still being practiced today. Then we travel on to Uzbekistan's third and final Silk Road city, Kiva, and stay for two nights. Kiva is much smaller than Samarkand or Bukhara, but it's just as impressive, especially in its UNESCO listed city centre called Ichankala, which is surrounded by a mighty brick wall. And it's home to the massive Kunya Ark and the huge unfinished obelisk, that's not obelisk, unfinished minaret of Kalsa Menor with its gorgeous tile work. And from here, we take a short flight back to Tashkent, where the tour comes to an end. So a remarkable 22-day journey through the very best of Central Asia. Before I finish, though, I'd like to briefly mention our two other tours in the region. We have the ultimate Uzbekistan tour, which is shorter, at just 12 days long, and focuses only on Uzbekistan's fabulous Silk Road cities. And we have another option, which is the longest and possibly one of the most epic and exciting tours that we do, called Journey Through Central Asia. This is a 27-day tour, starting in Bishkek, ending in Ashgabat, taking in all five countries of Central Asia, the so-called stands of Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. Thank you everybody and goodbye.